Ms. Strickland, you have brought your husband to court to prove he is the biological father of your four-year-old daughter, Nancy. You say your marriage is strained and claim positive paternity results will save your relationship. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Strickland, you say you need today's results because your relationship can't continue down the path you're on. So, Ms. Strickland, why are today's results so important and how has this all affected your marriage? It's affected my marriage in the fact that my husband and I argue a lot. We have problems with trust and it's very difficult for me because I love him with all my heart and I would never do anything to betray his trust, ever. I need these results to prove to him that this is his little girl, this is his daughter. So this marriage can't withstand a negative result? No, Your Honor, I don't think it could. Mr. Strickland? Yes, Your Honor. Tell the court how this is affecting you. Well, it, it's caused a lot of stress in my life. I've had issues with trust. I've had issues with people cheating on me. I got with her and I thought it was completely different. And just one thing after another, it was things showing me that, can I trust her? Take me back to how you met. We'd met online on a dating site and we talked on there for probably six or seven months. And then I got her phone number and called her and we talked for a while and we were really good friends. We stayed best friends. We tried dating at that point in time. Unfortunately, I was in a bad relationship. I was in a bad marriage and so was she. And it wasn't working at that. So we just, we remained friends. We remained friends for five years. And then from there, it was, you know, I'd, I'd given her a ring. I gave her my family ring. It was like everything just blew up inside of me. Yeah, you know, I, I was happy. I was thrilled. I, I just, I was happy I was around her again. Ms. Strickland, how did you feel when you first met? I felt like I found my best friend. I found a part of my soul that had been missing. My children loved him, I loved him, and I still do. I mean, it sounds like when you all met, you felt like you had found the person that you belong to. How did we get here? It was difficult. Um, my parents had taken my children for 11 months while I was trying to obtain a home for us in a new city. And I was looking for a job. And in the 11 months, I went back and forth from where we were living in Dyersburg to Memphis, back and forth. And in that time, it, it created jealousy issues. He thought that maybe I was seeing other people while I was going down to Memphis to see my children. Did you think that, Mr. Strickland? When she first started going out there, I really didn't because I was able to go with her. And then all of a sudden it was, didn't want me there no more. Uh, and so I figured, you know, th this is, you know, something's going on. There, this is wrong. And then it So you started to feel shunned. I, I, yeah, I started to feel shunned by it. And then all of a sudden it was a change in her attitude, a change in the way she was acting towards me. And so what happened when she told you she was pregnant? Oh, I was thrilled. You were? I, I was happy as can be. But after about the first couple months, it started to wear off because I started, I started doing the calculations of when she was pregnant and, you know, we had tried for over a year to get pregnant. And then all of a sudden, you know, we decided we're not gonna try no more. I'm, we're tired of trying. If it happens, it happens. And then a very short period of time after that, she's pregnant. And that was right at the time when she started to travel. That was, yeah, that was probably near, near the, the end of the time she was starting to travel. Okay. Um, she had gone over there and she'd been there, been to Memphis for probably about a week. And it was kind of rough because, you know, of course I missed her, I loved her. And when she got back, it was the same thing as before. It was, you know, she didn't want me around her. She didn't want me near her. Yeah, you know, it, it was like something was missing. So, Ms. Strickland, did you shun him? No, Your Honor, it was never intended to shun Mr. Strickland. He pulled back from being affectionate towards my, for, towards my stomach. He would talk to my belly while I was pregnant. 
he would ignore my belly for a few days and then he'd talk and then it it just seemed like he was pulling back from not only me but from my other two children and, and at the at the time mr strickland are you helping her through the pregnancy are you supporting her going to doctor's appointments how are you handling this knowing you have doubt there is a possibility this was my child i was going to be a man about it and be a father to this child so the baby is born were you there yes your honor and then did you sign the birth certificate yes your honor and i actually have some exhibits about that i had some issues with that oh i'd like to see yes, sure. please step over to the exhibit okay. if you want more episodes of paternity court make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell When they first brought the birth certificate in, I'd signed the paperwork. They refused it because me and her were not legally married. She was still legally married to her ex-husband. Oh! So they brought in the second birth certificate. She requested to have her maiden name put on it. Okay. Um, they said there wasn't a problem with that. She signs the paperwork. It, they send it off. We wait in the mail for it to come in. And all of a sudden... I'm sitting, we're sitting there in the mail and we get the birth certificate in and I'm happy. I'm thinking, okay, she's going to have her maiden name, but I can deal with that. And then I see the birth certificate and this is what I see. I see that she refused the information. Oh, it says mother refused information <laughs> under father's name. Correct. What happened, Ms. Strickland? When I asked what the problem was, they said the last name had to be different. It had to be changed. That it Whose couldn't... last name? Uh, our daughter. Okay. Her, her last name had to be changed. It couldn't be his last name because we were not legally married. And you were legally married to someone else at the time? Yes, Your Honor. So that person was presumed to be the father? Yes, Your Honor. But Nancy's now four years old? Yes, Your Honor. Have you done anything to change her name? I've tried, Your Honor, yes. What happened? No. You say she has not? She's, she tells me repeatedly she has, but I don't think she has because I decided to do a little research myself. She's told me that she tried to... She's contacted caseworkers. She's contacted courts. Well, I decided to contact the court myself. And I found out I literally could walk in there and within six months have it done. All I had to do, I could fi file a petition for the court for yes. a paternity test. Once it was situated and it was proven whether I was the father or not, I go to the county clerk and then pay my money. And it was nothing to it because at that point in time, they order a new birth certificate. Within a few weeks, it comes in. It wouldn't take but a few months to get it done. It, it was so quite So Nancy's simple. four. Why haven't we gotten this done? I just, I actually just found out that I could do this. I didn't know. Have you been asking Mrs. Strickland for this? I've been asking her for four years to contact the court system. Whose last name does Nancy have right now? Right now, Nancy has her ex-husband's last name. Oh. So Nancy has her ex's last name? Yes, Your Honor. Why haven't you gone about this process? I had no idea that this was an option. You didn't know it was an option to go down to the court and change the name? What I was told was I would have to get my ex to deny her paternity, but my ex would not comply. He disappeared. Who does Nancy think her biological father is? Me. I am her father. I, that, I, that's all, I'm the only one she's known. Ms. Strickland, I can see the pain in your eyes. How is this affecting you? My husband knows that I love him, but he doesn't realize that his lack of trust affects me so harsh. I felt like this was our last resort. To try to save this marriage? Yes, Your Honor. Because you want to be with him? Yes, Your Honor. You want to be a family? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Strickland, is this the only doubt you have? Do you have any other doubt? She had actually started talking to a guy on the same site we were on that me and her met. And I'd seen the texts. I stopped that immediately. So you saw text messages in her phone? Yes, in her what phone. What did the messages say? Things talking about how beautiful she was, how much he'd like to get to know her, how much he'd like to get to meet her. Were you sending text messages to another man, Ms. Strickland? Yes, Your Honor, I did. Why? 
I don't know, honestly. I wanted to be with Mr. Strickland, but I guess it was breaking a bad habit. In my prior marriage, I did have a bad habit of being unfaithful. Oh. He was unfaithful with me. I was unfaithful with him. And so, in this marriage, you're just going back to your old ways? In the beginning, yes, I did. So, have you been unfaithful during this marriage at all? This marriage? No, Your Honor. Um, what about the pictures? That was before we were married. That was part of this relationship. What pictures? When <clears throat> she started working, at one point in time, she was flirting around with one of her coworkers. <clears throat> I've seen the, I've seen text messages. I asked her about them. She told me that she had been texting him, and it was that was it. Well, I decided to look online and I checked out her history, and I seen that she'd sent pictures. I actually have those pictures. I'd like to see them. Jerome, will you hand me that evidence, please? Yep. Here you go, Your Honor. Please describe to the court what these pictures Those indicate. are pictures that I, I actually myself have taken. So you took the pictures? Yes. But she sent them to another man? Yes, Your Honor. Oh. <laughs> then there's one picture that she had sent that was very provocative that I had taken in the privacy of our own home. And when I found out she had sent the pictures, I pretty much came unglued at that situation. I smashed the phone. I went, I, I mean, I went nuts. It made me mad. In the photo that is way too hot for this courtroom, <laughs> describe to the court what was depicted. Her laying out on the bed, nude. I thought it was a beautiful picture because of the way the sun came across her body. I can't even look at that picture anymore. Because you took a picture of your wife, which you thought it was for you. Yep. For your eyes only. Yes, Your Honor. And, Ms. Strickland, you sent it to another man. Yes, Your Honor, in retaliation. What happened? Shortly into Mr. Strickland and I dating, he tells me that he wants to go and spend the day with a friend. I get up in the morning, the following morning, and his phone goes off. I look at the text message. It's from his ex-girlfriend saying that they had a really great day and that she'd like to do it again. He'd spent all day the day before with his ex-girlfriend. And instead of doing something that foolish, I sent a picture of myself naked to a ex-coworker. I didn't physically spend any time with anybody else. So you're admitting to it? Yes, Your Honor. And you were out with your ex-girlfriend, Mr. Strickland? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So, Ms. Strickland, did anything else happen with this co-worker after you sent this nude picture to him? No, Your Honor. I ended communications a day or so later when I went back to work. So now Nancy is four years old and this entire marriage and relationship is on the line, all because of a paternity issue. Do you believe he has a right to have those doubts? No, Your Honor. You don't? I don't. After hearing the testimony today, Mr. Strickland, are your doubts still as strong? Uh, they're actually a little stronger. Really? <laughs> Realizing how easily we could have got her name changed, why hasn't she done it? I, I, I don't have time. I work all day. Why haven't you done it? I mean, he's working. You just <clears throat> need $153. Do the, ask for the DNA test to start the process. Why haven't you at least gone to talk to a lawyer about it if you needed legal help? Haven't had the money, Your Honor. Okay. And so, if Mr. Strickland is not Nancy's biological father, is there any way that your ex is? No, Your Honor. No. There is no possible way that anyone else is Nancy's father. I want him to know that I've never been unfaithful to him. I want him to know that our marriage is still intact and it's going to be as strong as it ever could be. When you hear your wife say that, how do you feel, Mr. Strickland? It hurts. Because, I, I mean, I, I want to trust my wife. I want to know she's faithful to me. I want to know that Nancy's mine. I think it's time for the results. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Strickland versus Strickland, 
when it comes to four-year-old Nancy Elizabeth. It has been determined by this court, Mr. Strickland, you are the father. Are you happy to hear that? Very. You needed that confirmation. Yes, I did. How do you feel, Ms. Strickland? I knew he was the father. I've never had a doubt. Mr. Golden, you're here to prove to your ex-girlfriend that you are the father of her nine-month-old daughter, Andrea. Yes, ma'am. You are not only suing for a paternity test, but also for $998.50 for clothing of yours that the defendant destroyed in an argument. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Campbell, you say once the DNA proves Mr. Golden is not the father, you'd never want to hear his name again. Yes, Your Honor. All right, so, Mr. Golden, why do you think Ms. Campbell is denying that you're Andrea's father. Because she hate me. Really? Explain. She hate me because I slept with her best friend. You slept with her best friend? Yes, ma'am. But I did it to get back. You did? Yeah. Well, why would you do that? I did it to get back out of the spice because she used to do crazy stuff to me as far as burning clothes and stalking and... She what kind of relationship out. was this? We've been together four years, going on five years, Your Honor, and she get crazier every year. <laughs> they say this. Wow. Every time I turn around, I can go somewhere, she popping up. Were you popping up places, Miss? No, Hill? I was not, Your Honor. No, I was not. So, wait a minute. Was this a relationship? Were you all dating? Were you committed? Or were you just... It was supposed to be a relationship. But I guess he, don't, he didn't look at it as a relationship. I guess he looked at it as a game. No, it wasn't no game. So, why are you sleeping with her best friend? And why are you popping up places? What is going on? She crazy. Your Honor, the reason why I burnt his clothes is because he told me he was going to walk to the store, right? But usually, it's me and him walking to the store. Yes. He's walking with a girl, like, close, oh. side by side, close. So, I walks up to him, I'm like, what you doing? Who, who is she? He turned around and started running, ran away from me. All about going to the store? Now, so, Mr. Golden, you knew you had a plan then when you were leaving out and you didn't take her to the store with no, you. You no. were cheating. No, nah, Your Honor, I just walk to the store to go get some cigarettes, Your Honor. And how did the other and girl appear? Girls everywhere. I can't stop no girl from walking behind me or walking on the side of me or even talking to me. You know what I'm saying? All right. And then what happens? Well, I ran. This <laughs> so later the night, night you burned the clothes yes, up? She burned my clothes. I when came he back, ran. Clothes burnt. So when he started when... running, you decided I'm gonna burn his clothes. Yeah. So now you're so angry. It's so angry that I went to his mom's house and went in the closet and got his clothes out and pulled his clothes right there on the ground picked up a shirt, set it on fire, threw it on top of all his clothes, and all of them... And so, Mr. Golden, this is the basis of your suit? Yes, ma'am. Does anybody have any evidence as to what type of property this was? Hmm. Jerome, will you hand me that, please? What are these pictures of, Mr. Golden? The clothing that, that was burned? Yes, ma'am. Shirts, pants, <clears throat> jacket, mm. the price of these jacket, one jacket, 244... Designer, basketball jerseys... Who clothes they were? No, Miss... No, they ain't your... Miss Campbell, you admit mm -hmm. you burned clothes. When you look at the monitor, the value of these clothes is estimated at $998.50. More like $9.99. I'm looking at re... <laughs> And you admit you burned them? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. Mr. Golden, now, you say because this relationship is so messy, and it is, you believe that's why she's saying... You're not her child's father. Because the truth is, she's really just getting back at you and sh she doesn't want you to be her child's father. Yes, Your Honor. So that's what you think it is. Because you truly believe that you are. Yes, ma'am. Are you trying to get back at him? I feel like he's not even the father type. If he don't even respect me, why, how can he respect my child? Did you have sex with him? Yes, Without protection? Yes, but it wasn't around the time when my baby was... Conceive when she was. It wasn't. Conceived. So, Mr. Golden, did she tell you she was pregnant? How did you find out? Her mom. Her mom told you. Did she say, Jasmine's pregnant and you're the father? She asked me when the last time that we had had sex. And I told her that it was around about Christmas time. All right. So, Miss Campbell, you say you're adamant that he's not the father because you hadn't slept with him during the window of conception. Your mother says she specifically asked him. Your Honor, can I tell you the story on that day? Please do. Um, okay. I'm over my boyfriend's house. My mom had called me. She was like, um, can you come braid the back of my hair up? I went over there or whatever, braided her hair up. He comes up there. And he come there, he rubbed on my leg like, you miss me, I know you miss me. Like, you know, trying to... 
convince me or whatever. I'm not going to tell a story. I was weak. So, yeah, I was weak. So you slept with him that yes, day? Yes, I did. Did you use protection? No, ma'am. No. Mm -hmm. So you were sleeping with your boyfriend and also basically sleeping with Mr. Golden around the same time? Um, it, yeah. So, Mr. Golden, did you know she had a boyfriend? I have never seen this man. Her mom have never seen this man. So... So, wait, you don't think he exists? She making it up. Sound like she had a ghost boyfriend. <laughs> Why would she do this? You feel like she doesn't want you in her life? Yeah, no. She was going crazy. Like I said, she was going crazy. She was... So, you think it's to get back at you? Yeah. Once you slept with the best friend? Yeah. So, you brought a witness, sir. I'd like to hear from her. Please stand, ma'am. And state your name for the court. Demetra Jones. Miss Jones, you are... Jasmine's mother. Miss mm. Campbell's mother. Yes, yes ma'am. Standing with Mr. Golden. Interesting. Uh, ma'am, did you know anything about this other boyfriend that she says she had? No, ma'am, I did not. You've never seen this guy? No, ma'am, I did not see him. So you believe Mr. Golden is? I believe he is the father of my grandbaby. You yes. do? Yes, ma'am. Why do you think your daughter would make up that she has another boyfriend? Because she hates him. You just think your daughter just does... She dislikes him because she of... The... She hates him. I dislike him because he's disrespectful. He always cheats. But, but that's what I'm not... Under... Really, as you stand here, mm -hmm. I, I feel like you just don't like him at all. She crazy. And yet you sleeping with him. I had sex with him. I don't currently have sex with him. She... She hates him. I mean, she won't let him... She, when she got ready to have the baby at the hospital, she wouldn't let him come to the hospital. Why? And that's not his baby. And he was trying to come visit? Yes, he was. He was trying to come to the yes. hospital when the baby was born? Yes, ma'am. She told, told the security, security and my them, nurses... Don't let him in. No, gave him his full name. Don't let him in. Yeah, no. The birth certificate don't have no name on y'all. Pass that to me, please, Jerome. What did you say, Mr. Golden? The, Speak louder. Her birth certificate <clears throat> doesn't have any name on it. Listed under father's name, nobody. Mm. Nobody. Now, you saying, Miss Campbell, that you know who the child's father is and it was your boyfriend and you know it's definitely not Mr. Golden. Why is your boyfriend's name on his birth certificate? I want to be the father, so why would... Why... Why have... Does you want to be, but you're why not. Why have a no name... He is. Why have not. a no name... Yes. ...on your baby's birth certificate instead of have a name on it? She there? has a name and it's my name on there. Does That's all you need. Does this man have any relationship with Andrea now? No, no he does he's not. Still... I still have not seen him yet. You seen pictures? <laughs> you seen pictures? Pictures doesn't mean anything. So... You heard his voice? So, wait. How you is see... it possible that you had a boyfriend? You're a, a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. That her mama mother... has never seen. Your mother knows nothing about him, has never seen him. Correct. Right. You know, it's different types of people out here, right? So, he was, like, one of those types of people that... Then my grandbaby needs a, a father, he, and he, here he is. He's not the father role. He 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 don't he can't play that role. If he knew it he was never his had baby, a job, he, he don't know would. how to provide. But he, you he don't know how to tell him it's it. not. It's not. So what is he supposed to do? I'm telling you, it's not his baby. He can't provide. You ain't never brought no money. You never. never brought a t-shirt. He never brought some wipes. He never brought a sock. No. The Maybe only thing he ever there. brought my child. Maybe because when you're I was not there. there was a bag of cheese puffs. 50 cents, not even the dollar Your bag. Honey, he has the bought money bag. over to my not house even the dollar for baby. the baby. They've been not having sex for four years. They probably still having sex. And then he just almost giggled, so I know that's true. Yeah. True. No, it's not true. True. It's not true, young man. Both of y'all read. Okay, so what I don't understand, this is what I don't get. If you admit you got weak that day and you slept with him, mm. and, and even if this boyfriend is, is, is a real person and you also had this boyfriend, mm. you do understand that he could potentially be your child's father. Don't no. you? No, he's not. I know for a fact he's not. Because we didn't even... We didn't even have sex around the time that she was supposed to be conceived. So, it doesn't even add up. Okay, so for you, the window of conception doesn't add up. Right. You, you were not intimate with him around that right. time. Well, Mom, I gotta ask you, because he testified earlier, Mr. Golden, that 
when you found out Miss Campbell was pregnant, you came to him and asked him, around what time were you all having sex? Because what, you were trying to identify who the child's father was? The time was? frame. And then once he told you, did you believe that that worked in the time frame? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. He was living with me. And she was sneaking to wherever she was. And I had already heard earlier that she was coming over there when I was at work. So you knew she was at your house sleeping with Mr. Golden? Uh, yes. Mm. All right. She even stopped talking to people if people say, I'm the baby father. She'll stop talking to him. She won't say nothing to him maybe a month or two. Do you stop... Do you get mad at people when they say that Mr. Golden is your child's father, Ms. No, I get mad at him because he's telling people that he's my child's father. Why do you believe so strongly that he is, Ms. Jones? Because he was there... And I know they was having sex. Like I said, they probably still are. <laughs> I know they were, because I worked overnight to 4 in the morning. And when I come home, he's not where he's supposed to be. And her door is locked, so he's in there. Yana. Yes, sir. My mom's sick, Yana, and she, she really want to know if this her baby, her grandbaby, like, before she leave this world, like... You saying your mother is ill? Yeah. And she really needs the answer to this. She wants to know if this is her grandchild. Yeah. And that means a lot to you to be able to provide that answer for her. Absolutely. I understand that. I want to rule on your lawsuit, and then we will go to the results. Um, Mr. Golden, you came into court suing for $998.50 for items of clothing that you say Ms. Campbell burned and destroyed after an argument. Ms. Campbell, you've admitted that after an argument, you went to his mother's house, got his clothes, and burned them. You cannot destroy someone's property. You cannot take and destroy someone's property. But it's okay for him to destroy my heart, though. I had to get back at him. Listen, while, as a woman, I wish we could put a value on that and give you an award for that, you are right. Mm. Even when someone destroys your heart, you can't destroy their property. So how was I supposed to get back at him? How? <laughs> Honey, I can see that you're so upset. Because I can see... When you've lived a life like I have for a while, and you've loved and you've lost and you've been through relationships. I knew from the beginning of this, I didn't know if you were ever going to admit it, but mm. you can't hate or dislike somebody that strongly unless you once loved them. And usually, that hate is really just a disguise that you still do love him. And that's okay. We've all been through that. Mm -hmm. I knew when you went to get the clothes and burn the clothes, trust me, <laughs> I've never burned anybody's clothes, but I thought about it. <laughs> you need, I, w women, all the women know. Mm -hmm. And I knew he had broken your heart. But you can't destroy someone's clothes. You can't destroy their property, mm -hmm. even when they destroy your heart. For that reason, I have to rule for the plane for $998.50 on his suit for the value of the clothing. Now, as for your heart, I always tell women, the best revenge is success. So, as we go to the results, I want to ask you again, do you truly believe he's not the father? Or are you saying he's not the dad because you wanted to get back at him? No. Because he broke your heart? Mm -mm. He's just not the father. Okay. I think it's time for the results. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Golden versus Campbell, pertaining to nine-month-old Andrea Campbell. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Golden, you are not the father. Huh? Thank you. She's okay. 
Sir. It's okay. It's Mr. Golden. Come on, come on, come on. I'm you have to go. go. Come on. I need you to come on. You can go just, it's okay. You can take a seat, just have a seat. Come on back in, Mr. Golden. Let the judge talk to you. You can have a seat if you need to. It's okay. Um, on top of the it's okay. I just want to go. I'm sorry, Mr. Golden. Come sit down. It's gonna be okay, babe. I know you're upset. You don't want to go, Mr. Golden. I can tell this was not the result you were, you expected, and I commend you for being such a stand-up guy and coming here to get the answers you needed and your family. And I know it wasn't the answer you wanted, but I had to give you the truth. Ms. Campbell, you've maintained yes. that he was not the child's father. Yes, Your Honor. And you're positive that this other person that they've never met is, in fact, Andrea's father? Yes, Your Honor. I think you can see that even though you say he broke your heart, did he really care about my baby? He did. And you. <laughs> Mr. Downing, you are here today in court to finally prove to the defendant that you are not her daughter's biological father. You claim to be in debt because of this paternity issue and plan to contest that debt with your hometown court once the results are revealed. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Jones, you are certain that the plaintiff fathered your daughter and claim his only motive is to get out of paying the child support he owes. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Downing, when did you start to doubt that the defendant's daughter was actually your biological child? From the very beginning. Uh, Ms. Jones and I were never in a committed relationship. Uh, we dated uh, on and off for a little bit. And um, we never really, really had any type of relationship. But you had sex? Yes, ma'am. Were you using protection at the time? No, no, Okay, yeah. so that is a recipe for... Making a baby, yes. Making a baby. He was the type. If he would call me or whatever, I would get up and go be with him. And I so... was more set to act with him than anybody. Through my high school year, I was with this man numerous of times. I mean, I, it's so many times, I can't even count. I mean... <laughs> wow. At the time Brittany was conceived, I don't recall us being sexually active. I don't remember. I can remember when we were younger, we, we left church one time and we went down to... Uh, <laughs> seriously, and, and that was the first time I can remember being intimate with, with Ms. Jones. First time you remember being intimate with Ms. Jones was after church. Yes. Okay. So you don't remember none of them nights after the club? Oh. Picking me up. Well, that's what we used to call the booty call hours. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. You don't remember none of them nights? I don't remember any of those encounters really that, you, that you talk about me asking you to get out of bed to come be with me. I do not re recall those days. But you do admit to having a sexual relationship yes, and you I did guess, not yes, use we were protection. Sex reactive. Okay. Okay. So when Ms. Jones informed you she was pregnant, what happened? She didn't inform me. I found out through a relative. That is not true. It's the I truth. told Clint myself that I was pregnant, and his exact words were, what you telling me for, it ain't none of mine. I did really? tell him that. Uh, you smiling, Mr. Downing. In New York Has your uh, memory been revived? That was not the case. I did talk to him. I remember one time in particular, Clint and another guy pulled up beside us, and I got out the car, and I went to the car, and I knocked on the window, and he rolled the window, and he was like, what you want? I said, I just want to let you know, you know, I just left the hospital. He went, what you telling me for? He cranked up the car, and he left. And Do you remember this, Mr. Downing? Absolutely not. So wait a minute, so your recollection really is you never have another conversation or another encounter? Nope, I left and went to School. I went to the University of Tennessee. I left Florida, moved to Tennessee, Knoxville, and pursued my education. So when someone told you they think somebody's having your baby, you just decide, well, it ain't mine. In my mind, it's not mine. Mm -hmm. And so you feel like you have no further responsibility to it. I, I, that's correct. To only find out later that's not the case. Absolutely. 
I took a picture over there to your mom. Now, if she didn't tell you, I don't know why not, but I did take a picture over there to your mom. To my mother, you took a picture? Yes, I did. So, Brittany, I need to understand from you. Is Mr. Downing on your birth certificate? Yes, yes, Your Honor, he is. I have the proof. I'd like to see that. All right. Brittany, you handed me your birth certificate. Yes, Your Honor. On this birth certificate, child's name, Brittany, Chantel Starks, father's name listed as Clinton Dowling. That's incorrect. Downing. Like well, Downing. yes, I know that. <laughs> so, did you sign this birth certificate? No. You just gave them the name, Ms. Jones? How Clinton ain't got on that birth certificate. We had, like, five court dates. Five of them. Clint never showed up for not one court. I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee, where I, I didn't... I never got a letter telling me to come All to court. The I, I never was informed that I had a court date. I'm in All Tennessee. the letters went to his mama house. You know? He never showed up, not one. So, of... by default, he was listed as the father. The, the but judge it... was like, um, Miss Starts, I'm tired of you coming in by yourself. He said, well, we're gonna call him daddy. He said, you want his name on the birth certificate? I said, yes, sir. He said, okay, I'm gonna put his name on it. That's how Clint's name got on the birth certificate. Okay. And so, and from that, that's when you found out you are on child support now because you now have had your name added to the birth certificate because you've been determined to be the legal father by default because you didn't show up for court. I didn't find out that I was legal father until, um, 94. Really? Yes. What happened? They started garnishing my wages out of... The child support. That's when I found out I was legal father. I paid child support from 1995 until she turned... till 2005, until she turned 18. So, for 10 years, you paid child support? Yes, I did. And now, you still are in arrears. This is what you presented to this court. I am in arrears, court. about 16,000, 17,000. Wow. Because of the years I didn't pay prior to... Oh, absolutely, because you are legally obligated to pay child support from the day the child was born. Right. Even though you might not find out until she's 10 years old, those arrears are still going to attach, exactly. and many men don't know that legal lesson as well. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Your Honor, can I say something? Yes. Um, I wanted, you know, from Mr. Downey, I wanted to know when they started to garnish his check, why didn't he step up to the plate and say anything about it? If, if someone's taking money out of my check, I'm gonna find out the reason why. I'm gonna say something. Well, and that's a good question, Mr. Downing. At the point that you realized your wages were garnished, and did you do some investigation and figure out I've been added to a birth certificate for a child? They told me that I was legal father, and I didn't contest it within a year. Therefore, the state of, in the state of Florida, after one year, you cannot contest paternity. All right. So, you, we know that paternity... Laws, they vary from state to state. And so you did call and you found out you were outside of that window of time yes. you had to contest. Right. So at the point you realize, I'm named the legal father of a child, I'm paying for this child, don't you say, I need to see this child, I want to meet this person? I did meet her. When I initially met Brittany, her mother had called me on the phone and said, you need to talk to Brittany because Brittany's getting a little out of hand. And she was going through some teenage stuff and she wanted me to talk to her. Needless to say, Brittany wasn't trying to hear anything I said or her mother said at all. And I don't, and I don't blame her, but, you know, that, it was just one of those things. So, wait, it's okay. No. So, in that moment, you felt like she's coming to me as the father of this child. Right. Your Honor, how can you try to step up to me and tell me about my life when you don't even know me? I, and I felt the same way. I felt the same way when Leslie asked me to speak to you at the time. And... I didn't feel comfortable in talking to her, but because she requested it and because she was adamant that I'm your father, I felt an obligation to do so. So you... Because at that time, you still felt like Ms. Jones felt you were the father, and even though you knew you were the legal father, you still didn't believe you were the biological father. Exactly. I, I, I did not. And at that time, when he came to talk to you, Brittany, your mother told you you got to talk to your father? Did she say this is your biological father? Well, my mom told me about Mr. Downing. She always would say that Mr. Downing would want to speak with me. Mr. Downing would want to talk to you. And I kind of would like, you know, I'm being honest, I would shrug my shoulders and be like, I don't want to talk to him. If she was so adamant about me being Brittany's father, why was it that she was telling her that this other man, Mr. Jackson, 
was her father. Mm. Well, is that true, Ms. Jones? Did you tell... I told Brittany it was a possibility. No. She started to fail this family so no, much. No, you, no, you called just was me. like, were you involved with this guy? And she told me, yes, she was. When you called me and... Well, I actually saw you in the streets. And you was like, uh, oh... You been with Joe. You know, I didn't deny it. I was like, yeah, I, I was with him once. Why, okay? why would I confront and you so and you and like, I had no That's who you need to be time. calling. You need to leave me alone. That's why who you need would to be I, calling. Why would I confront well, you? Well, she's explaining why you would have confronted her because she says you told her, mm -hmm. well, if that's the guy... If, if you've been sleeping with that guy, that's the guy you need to be calling. So my question then becomes... Ms. Jones, this other gentleman... I mean, Mr. Downing does have an interesting point. If he believes from the beginning that this is not my biological child. I'm named the legal father. They're taking the child support from my check, but the child has a relationship with another man. Mm -hmm. And so, Brittany, did you call Mr. Jackson dad? Yes, Your Honor, I, I do. You do? I do. Mm -hmm. Did you believe your whole life that he was your biological father? Yes, Your Honor. Well, tell me about your relationship. Me and Joe have an awesome relationship with each other. I love um, Mr. Jackson. He's always been a part of my life. At the time, when I was one years old, my mom married my sister's father, and, they were, and he was in the military. So we traveled around to different countries. Um, when I would come home for the summer time, when I was out of school, Mr. Jackson would come and pick me up and spend time with me. I would spend time with my grandmother, um, a few cousins um, at the time, and prom, just throughout my whole life. At um, one time, we were living in Georgia, he came to visit me. Um, he was just very involved in my life, always would call and check up on me and make sure that I had everything I needed. So I consider him as my father. Yeah. And you believe he was your biological father, not just a man that was being nice, but you believe he was your biological father? Yes, Your Honor. I believe he was my biological father. My mom did tell me that it was a possibility that Mr. Downing could be my dad. And I told my mother that I did not want Mr. Downing to be my father. So, Mr. Downing, this was also fueling your doubts because even though you don't remember the conversation per se, it sounds like you were somewhat aware that there was also another man, which also fueled your doubt as to you being the biological father. Well, f this is the first time I'm ever hearing Ms. Stark say that she didn't want me to be her dad. This is the first time I've ever heard that. Um, because as she's become an adult, we've actually developed a, a, a different type of relationship. Uh, she Your, sent me some Easter pictures of the grandkids. Your Honor, Mr. Jackson and myself, I, we look just alike. And, and I'm sticking to that. I feel like Mr. Jackson is my father. Ms. Starks, you believe Mr. Jackson is your biological father? Yes, Your Honor. Your mother is telling Mr. Downing that she believes he is your biological father. Yes, Your Honor. When do you begin to question whether or not Mr. Jackson is your biological father? Your Honor, I spoke to my mom about it, and she says... She told me, she said, Brittany, you know, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I feel... I know how you feel, but I feel like Mr. Downing is your father, and that's just something that I never wanted to accept. I, I just... I just didn't want it. I didn't want to have no parts to do with it, because who, you know, will want someone to be their dad that never wanted to be their dad? I didn't want, you know... And I agree. I, and I, I, can, I absolutely agree. But it had nothing to do with you personally. It had nothing to do with you personally. It was all about your mom and, and, and misinforming me and the people in, in, in that we were associated with. So, I'm not saying you're wrong. What I'm saying is your mom has been wrong all these years by not clearing the air. And I've asked her to do Wait this over minute. and over Wait again. Wait a minute. By not clearing the air. You... You and Brittany had a relationship. You could have been got well, a Brittany DNA test. we did have a relationship. Well, you called me two years ago telling me that Joe had taken a, um... Mr. Jackson had taken a, a DNA test and it came back that he was not the father. Well, hold on now. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I want to understand this. Brittany, you believe Mr. Jackson was your biological father? Mm -hmm. Yes, Your Honor. But at some point, you took a DNA test? Yes, Your Honor. I had the... And the paper. You brought the results? Yes. I'd like to see those. Now, was this an at-home test? Did you all go in person to a laboratory? Did you go through the court? What, how, uh... Your Honor, the person that he's with reached out to me. Um, at the time, Mr. Jackson was sick and he was in the hospital for a long period of time. And she felt like um, that I needed to 
establish some paternity, they, that I should know that he's my dad just in case anything happened in the future. So she told me that they were gonna purchase an at-home test and that she was gonna send it to me through the mail. And she did. And um, I did whatever the instructions told me to do. And the swab and the you swab. sent, and sent and it sent, back? I sent it back. But you all were living in different states. Yes, Your Honor. And then the results came back and you've handed me the results and it comes back that there is a zero percent probability of paternity. Yes, Your Honor.